part, it won't be able because the signal will try to come from the vein into the heart and it's going to find a scar. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to isolate the PACs or the atrial tachycardia that are coming from the pulmonary vein. We're trying to isolate them and let them inside of the vein. We don't want them coming into the atria because they can cause um, AFib. So that is how we treat AFib um, when medications fail. So normally we want to try first with medications, but if the medications fail, we try with that. Uh, so if it's coming from the pulmonary, yeah. isn't that a different set of cells than what the heart cell is? And does that matter when it's traveling through it? Right. Yes, it does. So when you look at the composition of the membranes of that area, you're going to find that not all the cells have the same kind of channels. And the channels don't behave the same way. Right. So all this causes that the conduction through that area is not homogeneous. So if you have conduction of electricity that is not always the same, you are open to have either re-entry or other kinds of arrhythmias. And the same happens for VT. So are you when you go to when you since you know it's the pulmonary veins that are causing this and the cells are different, are you blocking them at that junction? I guess it would be hard to tell when the vessel cell starts and the heart cells. Start. Yeah, there's no way for us to know. And when you look at an um, histological uh, samples, this is the same drawing I do for my patients. Um, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. the, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> and they go home very happy. Yeah. Uh, I'm so bad at drawing, so I keep everything super simple. Let's imagine that the veins of the, sorry, that the cells of the veins are circle, and the cells of the heart are squares. So, it would be ideal if this would be like this, and there would be the a block. Here. They don't talk to each other. That would be awesome. But if you go, thank you. If you look at um, histology and, and all the basic science studies show that it does not exist. There's a what we call what we will call it a transitional area, where these two cells are kind of like one on top of the other one, and then you have this vein cell here and you have a heart cell here. So there is not one area where you say, here's where the heart starts, here's where the veins start. Mm -hmm. So, where does the mountain start? Well, the mountain starts somewhere when it's not flat anymore. Well, what do you mean flat? What do you mean mountain? So it's the same thing here. Um, somewhere over here is the heart, somewhere over here is the vein. So what we're trying to avoid is the signals from here to travel and activate these cells. And the only way we know how to do this with a relatively good success would be by m ablating here, basically either with cold or with um, radio frequency. Basically, with um, radio frequency, what you do is you heat the cells, you heat them up, you burn them, mm -hmm. you are breaking the, the membrane so the cells die, or you can freeze them and the same thing happens. When you do that, all this becomes a scar. So, as you know, scar does not conduct electricity, scar does not beat, and that's how you keep separated the atria from the ventricles. Now, you could also say, well, if the arrhythmia is coming from the pulmonary vein, why don't you burn the pulmonary vein that is causing the problem. Why are you going to burn the poor heart? The heart didn't do anything to you. It's just a bystander. It's doing what you, the vein is saying. Let's kill the vein. Well, 
Um, we learned that if you burn inside of the vein, the vein will scar and it will shrink. And if the vein shrink, the blood is going to have difficulty passing through. And that is going to cause pulmonary vein stenosis. The pressure inside of the vein will increase. So the patients will have shortness of breath, will not feel well. The scarring, do you have the chance of breaking something off for a PE or, I mean, an embolism? Yeah, or mm -hmm. absolutely. And, um, and we'll talk about the complications in a second. So any questions about